Good morning, farmers. It is now April 24th, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. I got my two workers, or I hired two workers, to harvest the last two canola fields that we have. I've gone around this morning. I've collected the honey from the beehives. I got six honey. And right now, I'm over here in... Uh, what's this place called? Oh, yeah, Mary Waters. I'm over here at these greenhouses where our chili peppers are already. I don't have... Well, I didn't have many chili pepper seeds left. I had about 70. And I got about three quarters of that first greenhouse done, and the rest I'm planting down zucchini, I think is what I got in my hand for seeds, because uh, I got plenty of those. But yeah, we're, we're collecting our chili peppers today. So yeah, the, the spring harvest is just about over. Two more fields. They shouldn't take too long. Uh, I think one field is like a hectare and a half. The other one's like maybe, could be two and a quarter. Somewhere around two, two and a quarter hectares. So, uh, I yeah, we're going to fall short of our $5 million goal from just harvesting canola. That's fine. Uh, which I'm, I'm kind of shocked at because last year, I want to say we brought in $1.5 million from our spring cleaning, as I call it. And this year we have, I think we bought maybe an extra seven or eight fields or so through the season. So I thought with those extra fields, I can probably profit like $2 million. So I think we started at $3.2 million in the bank account. And so since we're going to come out shy of $5 million, that's only, I don't want to say only, uh, sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, like $1.7, maybe $1.8 million is all we're going to bring in. So it seems rather short. Now, it's hard, you know, I'm not, I didn't go back and check last year to see what, the price of canola was when we harvested it and all that fun stuff so yeah i just thought we could easily uh get to two million dollars but we're going to come up short in that. that like i said that's okay that's fine uh what we got to do today after i'm just checking on the greenhouses is uh there is a drone race today we're going to handle that uh, that is down in old wheatford and i just want to make sure that we got all the greenhouses taken care of i think it was just those two yeah, these all these are all taken care of. So now we'll we'll jump on down here. Uh, there is a fix a building job over here I want to do because that's pretty simple for us. That's just a house inspection. Uh, the drone race is over here as well. So we'll go ahead and do that in just a moment. Hopefully it's not one of the difficult ones. Yeah, so all of our greenhouses are done except for the ones at the house because well, our wife is not uh, doing the greenhouses. I, that was in an update long ago where it said the wife would take care of the greenhouse and she never does for me anyways um and uh, from as far as i can see she still doesn't so drone race here is this a drone race competition so i'm racing other other competitors right uh yep certainly looks that way excuse me come through i'm just gonna go slow just to make sure because i don't need to be uh Missing anything here. And I'm kind of going a little bit slow because I want to see if they will catch up or not. I wonder if I can... I don't want to turn around and see if they're coming because I... <laughs> because of my luck, they would be... I can't see where that ring is. Right in the tree. That's unfair. There we go. Now I can see where I'm going. Actually, I think they're right behind me because I think I hear them buzzing behind me. There we go. Uh, yeah, so only $50 and 100 social points. It's too bad you can't pan around and see where they, the other ones are. Or at least it doesn't tell you how far ahead you are, but um, that, might, that might make more people nervous. So, yeah, the drone race is done and complete. Not a problem. Uh, got ourselves fifty dollars uh, and hundred social points. Now we're gonna run over here and do the house inspection that we have to do. Well, we don't have to do it, but I like them because they pay they pay decent, and uh, why not get a few more social points? So after we do that, we're gonna head back to the farm. Uh, we're gonna grab our fertilizer spreader, artificial one that is, and go up to the fields that we've been spraying some slurry on. Uh, I need to cover so I need to get the second stage of fertilization down on there. And then we're going to seed some up there. I think we're going to do some peas. 
But someone around here has a job for me. It's going to be across the street. And it's Frank. I don't think it's the same Frank that lives up um, in Redford. Uh, Redberry. Redford. Um, how about instead of shoveling, you take care of your sunflowers? You could probably harvest those and get some cash for them. Hi there. Good morning. It is a good morning. We are looking for work. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I think I've done it a million times, but I'll do it again. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. A lovely 1760. We should be 15, uh, 1520 in social points. Well, we'll come over here. We'll look at the building like we always do. I would love to like uh, where they, they give you a quest to actually upgrade the materials on it instead of just fixing, fixing, it, fixing it. I'll say it. And what about that barn over there, Frank? What about that one over there that's got the holes in it? You ever think about fixing that one? Thank you. Here's something for you. I'll shut the gate too because your gate kind of comes out in the road and boy, that shut awfully quick and got me stuck in there. That, that gate seems to open. I don't remember the gate open that opening that quick. Um, can I, can I just like, uh, cause that, you know, that rust is kind of bothering me a little bit here. Uh, nope, that's the wrong gun. That's not the right one either. Is it because I don't have the material? I can't, I can't take care of the rust. Nope, that's a brick. And that's a nail gun. So I can't, I can't just fix the rust for you, huh? Well, that's too bad for you. I was going to help you out a little bit, but you know what? Apparently your fence doesn't need it. Let's uh, head on back to the farm, see what's going on with the wifey. Um, so yeah, it's this field right here, right across from the house. And then this field right up here, and that's all we have to do. Uh, here is one for mushrooms in three days. I probably won't bother doing that. And I'm still looking for one that uh, repairs the building versus time. The other jobs uh, around the map today are plow jobs, so I don't really have no desire to do that because I got plenty of fields myself to go ahead and plow. Uh, James, okay, James needs a fish. I checked on him last night and he was all fine, but apparently today he needs a fish. So let's go, let's go get that out of the way. Give him a fish just to make sure. What time is it? I got about 45 minutes before I get the message that uh, the mice are here to play. So let's grab the fishing rod. Where are the fish? Right there. And, yep, today was nice and quick. And now we got them close enough. Bring them on in. James will be thrilled. Fresh right out of the pond. But it does make me wonder... I mean, James, the, the pond's right there. I'm surprised James doesn't go down and try to stare at the fish and catch him himself. Here you go, James. And now you're going to take a nap. You better not take a nap. The mice are coming at 9 o'clock. Uh, let's go ahead and close that gate just because. Uh, yeah, so how many jars of honey did I get today? Six. Uh, the weird thing is I got them all in two spots. So the one up front didn't have any. The one down here had none either but the ones up there by the greenhouse on both sides all three beehives and both of them had honey in them it's like all right well i mean i guess 50 50 is the way we're going i'm kind of hungry i should eat something right away then there we go so let's go grab our fertilizer spreader not the big one because i hate that thing I shouldn't say hate. Hate is a strong word for it. Uh, I dislike it. This one seems to do a lot better. If I remember correctly, the, the, the trailer holds 1,600 kilograms. And the one we got now holds 3,000. Doesn't seem to add up, does it? Uh, <laughs> I don't... Did they, they may have changed how much that could hold. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely prefer this one right here. I hope I got fertilizer in stock. It's not going to hurt me too much if I have to go down to the agricultural store just because 
I do need to buy some more seed, I suppose. Because we're, we're kind of running out on that kind of stuff. Uh, fertilizer. Well, I only got 6,515 in stock, which is quite a bit. Let's fill it on up. And like I said, I always like to get my fertilizing job done before I seed it because I don't want to seed it and say, I'll run right up there afterwards and fertilize it because then I get doing other things, forget about it. And next thing you know, the crop has grown and then, um, yeah, going into your own field is not the brightest of ideas. I wonder if they fixed the third camera third person camera when it fertilizes uh, nope still flickering pretty bad here so I have to do it in this stage right here so I got these four fields of do then like I said we're gonna grab our, our seed roll and we're actually gonna plant some seed down today like I said I think we're gonna put peas all up here sounds like a good plan because uh, everyone seems to like peas I think the field's down around by us. We're going to head, and uh, the one's just across from the house, actually. And I don't know why I'm pointing the camera over there. Uh, not like you can see too well from here. But uh, that's where we're going to put the lupine, just because it'll be nice to get up in the morning, go out on the on the love patio deck, as I like to think about it, and uh, just look over there and see the beautiful pinks and purples of the lupine when it hits the second stage of fertiliz uh, yeah, second stage of fertilization. Second growth stage, yeah. Words are uh, misplacing me today. Uh, even still, uh, English is my uh, native language. Uh, imagine that. So, <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and get these four fields done. Shouldn't take me too long. Um, oh, my neighbors seem to like my garden. Well, thank you. Uh, my, my wife actually takes care of half of it. We'll say she takes care of half of it. I think the harvest is just about over. I'm waiting for that to hit. Now, I don't think it's going to. It's going to come up. Oh, no. It's still going to go. I'm hoping to hit 850,000. But it, it's, it's it's like it's. I think it's done. I, I, think it, I think it's going to come up short just, just to irritate you just a little bit, right? So I'm in the last field fertilizing out of the four. And I still got like 45% fertilizer left in the tank. So, yeah, not much of an issue for sure getting these fields done with a fertilizer spreader that we have um uh, this is where I, I do wish maybe I, I know some of you are probably gonna scream out there don't give me any ideas but i i think hiring the plane should cost probably more than what it is it seems rather cheap and yeah it does make it really easy no i don't want to lower that i want to raise that i want to i want to go forward and fertilize it um, but yeah, I think they should be just a little bit more expensive Because uh, I mean to really hire a plane. I think it would cost more, but uh, I not really calculating to see how much it would it would cost If I were to you know do it myself here uh, I Think we did it somewhere uh, In a test already though, and I don't, I don't think it was that much uh, difference in price other than you know You don't you don't I guess if you do it with Ferdex, I guess is the only way you can compare it to with the plane. I guess I could do that test. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't think I did. Um, I was trying to think of the fertilizer test that I did, and I was trying to see what was cheaper. I mean, it, in a way, it should be cheaper to do two stages of fertilization with cow slurry and the fertilizer that we have. But if you start taking the cost of, well, you got to buy this spreader, which I have no idea how much it costs at this point because it's been so long. Um, and to get the slurry, you got to get the cows, and you got to keep the cows fed, and uh, then you got to buy a slurry tanker to spray it. It just seems so much easier just to hire the plane to come in and fertilize your fields. But uh, yeah, I only used uh, 60%, so 1,700 liters, excuse me, 1,700 kilograms of fertilizer on those four fields. So not much at all, really. And of course, the cows are doing the cow thing. And give us a slurry to do uh, the other 100% of the fertilizer that we need. So I'm going to go empty out our fertilizer spreader. Because I don't want to leave it in there because it will just corrode it terribly. I did hire a worker to plow the 3 hectare size field across the road from us. Uh, let me go ahead and empty the fertilizer. Alright. And we'll go drop this off. And we'll get our seed roll. And fill that up with 
peas, and I didn't see if I had peas in my garage. Because it's been so long since I actually bought seeds, I don't know exactly what I have in there. Let's lower that down and then drop it. There we go. Already the tractor is getting dirty. And it's almost time to repaint this too. I think I painted it this color orange back in October. And here we are in January. Alright, let's go see if I got pea seeds even over here. And back on in. Alright, so what do we got for pea seeds? Uh, I got enough. Now the question is, I think it covers a just a little bit over two hectare size fields what I can do with this thing. If I remember correctly, the first field I'm going to do, I think I can get it about... Oh, probably 90% done, 95% done when I run out, so we'll see. It's the one I'm going to work my, the furthest uh, over and work my way back. So, we're going to go over across the way and start with that one because that's the one I think I'm going to run out on. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and then probably do that small one over there. So, get those two fields done today. Um, like I said, our harvest is over. Uh, we could reach $5 million if I went down and sold all the barley we had and, and the corn. I think the barley alone would get us over the $5 million mark, I think. I think I have enough there. Yeah, but this field here will, uh, yeah, this will take the entire seedrill for sure. Boy, it really sounds like the, uh, the tractor is struggling to pull the seedrill. Uh, I think I need the second axle on this because it's kind of dragging me around just a little bit. I was like, I am putting peas down, right? Yes, yes, we are. So we're all set there. The other thing I want to test because I think I mentioned this a while ago and it might have been... When the heck was I seeding? Someone left a comment and they said, yeah, well, when they drive their seed drill over an area that's already seeded, it doesn't use seed. And unless they change that recently, used to it should use seed as long as you're in the field. But uh, we can test it out after we get done with this field here. I'll drive over some of the field and put the seed roll down and see if it uses seed then. But for now, uh, I gotta put seed in it first to find it. Uh, the scarecrow doesn't matter too much. I'll just have to double check sometime in the summer whenever we get around to harvesting this field. And I may not even harvest this field until fall time. Uh, whenever the price is good. Although, I could go around buy silos and store it in there. Um, maybe our silo down in Old Wheatford will be free at some point when we finally sell the barley. I'm waiting for that price to get up around uh, over 800 Right now it's at 790 so it's just about there. So we'll wait. Uh, I can't imagine a lot of other farmers going around selling grain because we own... I don't want to say we own most of the, well, we do own most of the fields. We own 50 out of the 84 fields, but since I own probably most of the big ones, um, hectare-wise, I probably own probably 75% like of the fields in a way. So other farmers can't be going there selling grain and uh, they're getting a, a robust amount of grain. So I have, I have no idea. So we're just going to wait until the price goes up and keep our fingers crossed. I now have three workers plowing some fields around the farm home itself. Prepping those fields for the lupine that we're going to plant down later on. Something about seeding, I just, uh, I don't get much enjoyment out of seeding a field as I do when I plow or cultivate or especially harvest. Um, I guess it all depends on my day, I, I would assume, you know, like some days I like plowing, the other days it's like I don't want to plow today but I want to cultivate. Uh, but when it comes to seeding in Farmer's Dynasty, I just don't, I don't feel it. I just don't, I just don't get the enjoyment of knowing I'm putting crop into the ground and in a few months time I'll get money from it. But when I, when I plow a field, I get the uh, enjoyment out of it because I guess I'm, I'm destroying the old corn stalks or 
the stocks of whatever I harvested. You know, I'm getting rid of those and then when I cultivate, I feel good because I'm getting rid of the furrows and making the field nice and smooth. Fertilizing, I don't get much enjoyment out of it either. That's why I'm probably going to use a plane more often than not, especially when we run out of cow slurry. But uh, definitely when I seed, I don't get no enjoyment out of it per se. Uh, but I've already kind of seen this myself, so you can kind of see the, the texture difference. Uh, the brown, the, the light brown area is a place we haven't seeded yet. And this like pale color brownish is where we seeded. So if I put engineering on and we put the seeder down, so we have 441 kilograms. This has already been seeded right here. And you can see we are using seed already where we seeded. So I know someone said, oh, it doesn't go down when you seed where you seeded. Uh, it still does in my game. So um, I guess the question would come down to if it doesn't do it in your game, are you on console or not? Because it seems like uh, the console players still have that different version on it and maybe you got different uh, things than PC does or vice versa. I don't know. Uh, but I was also looking at, um, I think I can get this whole field done with peas because I'm almost 70% done with the field and I got 47% uh, seed left. So either I haven't seeded this field in a while, which I have not seeded this field in a while, and I'm getting mixed up with another field, but I didn't think this was a field I could completely seed before I ran out. But uh, my second guessing was, I'm thinking, I might be thinking of this field down here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Because I always had a question about this. Because this field up here is two and a quarter hectares. Yeah, I think I think this is where I'm getting mixed up. Yeah, so two and a quarter hectares, which is what we're seeding now. I can seed this entire field and not run out. When I come down here to this two hectare size field... I, I run out of seed. I do believe those these are two fields I've always said about. And that goes back a ways because I, last year I didn't seed that much for sure. I think I was plowing, cultivating, taking care of some other things. I was just hiring workers left and right to seed the fields that we have. And I also decided uh, I'm probably going to call it a day once I do run out of seed. So I'm not going to sit here and say i got to get this field done, that field done. Um, we're just going to seed this field for sure I should get done and probably partially a little bit of that field over there I don't think I'll be able to finish it all and the one thing I the one thing Farmer's Dynasty has got me doing in Farming Simulator when I back up in Farming Simulator now most of the time I pick up the implement because in Farmer's Dynasty you cannot back up with your implement down which you shouldn't anyways in real life, so I'm kind of glad they have that in there. It's like you want to back up. It's like, why can't I back up? Well, your implement's down. Lift it up. You're going to break everything off it. I still think the Scarecrow should be destroyed when you run over it with the tractor. So what you would do is... Uh, you would do the entire field like we have, where we plowed, cultivated... Uh, fertilize it however you like seed it and when you get done seeding that's when you go over and put the scarecrow in it and then when it comes time to harvest of course you're going to harvest from the outside in and say you run over it with a harvester uh, you destroy it but it doesn't really matter because the birds are not going to come on down to the field while you're in the field anyways and usually if you're at the scarecrow you're sort of in the middle anyways so there's not much crop left and then, of course, you know, the Scarecrow's destroyed, and then uh, you just have to plant it, to plant it, or rebuild one, or buy another one, place another one, I guess is what we kind of really do here. But place down another one after you get done. Well, I mean, you can place it down whenever you want, but really you shouldn't be placing it down until you finish seeding it like uh, we're doing now. I am kind of burning through the fuel a little bit, though. Although I have to remember, I, we did fertilize four fields and now we're seeding a field. And I'm running both axles as we seed. Yeah, so the four fields up here that we've already fertilized uh, today, all four of these, I'm going to put peas in it. And I think in just three fields down by the farm, we're going to put lupine in. And that's pretty much going to be it for the season, I think. 
But then again, uh, yeah. Like I always say, my plans always change. And when I mean done for the season, I mean until September. Because we got a lot of fields to prep. And do the winter canola all over again. Uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if halfway through the season I say, you know what, let's do a cornfield or something. But I'm kind of wanting to get to next season. Kind of like I was trying to rush last season to get to this season because I thought little Timmy would be out of the crib. And uh, apparently little Timmy is only three years old now. I thought this year he was four, but I am wrong. So I'll have to wait another year before Timmy gets out of the crib to see what he can bring for his skills to the farm. I'm guessing not much. Not much at all. Maybe he'll play. Maybe he can play with Rex. Maybe he can get Rex away from the fireplace next season. Like I said, I don't expect Rex to run away because I hardly ever feed him anyways and he never runs away. He's, he's always in love with us. Uh, I, I have no idea why uh, he's stuck down by the fireplace though. I will admit I have taken a tractor down there and uh, run into Rex and um, it was it was even hard to get in there really because that, the fireplace is there and the bench is there and it was kind of hard to get in there. <laughs> I, the only tractor I I really got in there decently was my wife's tractor, the small uh, Lindair. I don't know how you pronounce that, but uh, Linder, Lindair. Uh, either one, that's the one that I could get down there. And Rex is built like a brick house, man. He did, <laughs> he did not move. Um, as for fertilizing the field, yeah, I got I got 100% fertilizer down here. So the only thing I didn't get quite 100% was the cow slurry which is it, it's all good I'll accept that and I'm probably gonna get like 99.5 percent seeded on the field usually it's on the edges of the field I don't sometimes the field goes further further around than the uh, dirt does and you can kind of see it sometimes when you go around the edge of the field where the fertilizer is kind of showing. Actually, am I going to get to 99.5? I don't know. Yeah, so I'll keep on hiring workers to... After they do the three fields around the farm, I, I'll probably have them... No, I'll cultivate those. Sorry, I need to cultivate those. Because I'm going to be the one running the harvester over there. Um, but we will start hiring workers to plow and cultivate all the fields far away from the farm. So I'm not going way over to Peaksville, which is in the east. I don't, I don't really feel like going up to uh, uh, New Fields. And I don't really feel like going down to Wheat Ferd. Uh, 99.87, I will accept that. So once again, you can see this, like I said, we're 99.87, uh, seeded. If I put the seed roll down and I go, I am still using seed. Alright, so we're going to come over here. How much have I got left? 21%. Hmm, can I get this field done? Probably going to come up just short enough where it's going to be like, oh man, really? i got to come over here in the next in-game day and uh, take care of it? So now when I wake up, I really don't have to uh, pay too much attention to the canola price. I almost hit her, but uh, you know my driving skills paid off. And then five minutes from now, I'll run into a tree in the middle of flipping nowhere and you wonder why did you run into the tree? Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So when I wake up tomorrow, I don't have to worry too much about the canola price. But I will have to keep my eye on the uh, maize price and the barley price. I also did notice today when I was uh, collecting the apple. Uh, yeah, collecting the apples. Collecting the honey by the apple trees. The, I just noticed the apples are on the tree. They're all green. So I'll have to pick those probably in a couple weeks' time, I think, before they turn. And then, of course, everything was just going to go into our pantry. Because I can wait until September festival to come around. Uh, we'll make a whole bunch of tier 2 and tier 3 dishes. 
and hopefully Rose comes back next year and maybe Rose will be prepared for us next year and have a whole bunch of cash uh, I'm going over a spot I've already seated because I'm not paying attention but yeah I'm still a little um, disappointed in our spring cleaning because I really thought with all the extra fields that we bought I really thought we could get up to the two million dollars for our harvest I suppose if I, I mean, in a way, there was a couple of times that we were harvesting when the price wasn't as good as it is like kind of today. I think a couple of times we were harvesting when it was in the 700s. And then we started, I started waiting until the days were better. And and then one day we harvested a lot when the price was at 800, 800 and something. And like today it's like 830 something. So it's, it's quite a difference. I mean, thirty dollars more per a thousand, and you're getting as much as you're getting off fields. It will, it probably would have added up to where we could have got five million dollars in the bank account. I mean, it would just looked nice just to have the five million there. I don't need the five million because uh, what do I need at this point? Not much. I got enough money to buy the rest of the fields, and I'm pretty sure enough money to buy anything that. Uh, toplets may throw back at us if they add anything more to the game which I kind of hope they do once in a while maybe just throw in a, something a little extra to surprise us I was ready to say wait a minute is that uh, oh great what's her name she was just walking the other side of the field is it Amelia it's not Amelia uh, great I can't remember her name now I'm going to say Amelia, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong because I've been wrong a lot. She's walking across the street. We're getting closer. I don't know if I'm going to get close enough. Oh, it is Amelia. Hey, I'm right today. I'm going to stop on the way home by a lotto ticket. And I am just about out of seed. Seventeen kilograms left. And then, you know what? When I finish this roll right here, I'm gonna call it quits. That way, I can kind of remind myself to where I left off. Right there. I'm not gonna refill it with seed today, just because I don't want it sitting in the seed roll overnight. But we'll drive on down parked next to our garage so it will remind me before I take it on out next time to hey stupid refill this before you leave actually I thought it was going to be a short day here on the farm but uh, we're, we're getting close to the 5 o'clock hour I haven't used these uh, fields for harvesting in a while Yep, so the greenhouse here, nope, the wife has not touched them yet. I don't expect her to. There's a nice top-down view of the cedral. But if you come over here to the apple trees, there are some apples there, some apples there, a whole bunch of apples here. Uh, my flowers are all wet, so there, that's good. Although those are the ones the wife, I think, quote-unquote, reaches, even though I saw the flowers get water when she was still in bed these are all still wet so that's good that is good was I reading a field here I can read that field from way back here okay um wait what was that oh pick up tulip I was like did I miss a jar of honey no I said pick up tulip okay <laughs> I was like man how did I miss a jar of honey that's embarrassing actually it's hard to embarrass me anymore so there's Timmy in his crib. Uh, there's the wife. I think we talked to her last time, so she's good. And when she's got a shovel in her hand, I'd rather just uh, walk around her just to, you know, stay clear. Uh, Ronnie the Rooster's doing his thing. I keep forgetting, though, about the duck and goose eggs, about collecting them and putting them down in the pantry. Because at some point, I'm thinking uh, that'll get fixed to where the wife does pick them up. Or there becomes a recipe for the duck and goose eggs, and I want to make sure I have plenty of them to go around 
Hey, look who's here. Rex is here. Oh, Rex, your fire is out. There you go, buddy. I don't, I don't mind Rex at all. It's just the one thing I will not, will not do is I, I will not pet him. I do not like... I hate when a dog whines. Uh, so that field looks like it's done. Uh, the, guy, the guy that's still plowing over there, he's the first one I hired to plow a field. So he's still going. So, yeah, the field he's plowing there, that field in front of us there, and the field this on the other side of John's. Because uh, we do we can see that from our balcony up there. Uh, yeah, we're going to put those, those three fields are going to have lupine in it. But we'll, we'll, I got I got three more fields to go up on the other side of Oliver's first. And then I can cultivate the field, the three fields here. And then we got to fertilize them. Uh, you, know, you know the rotation and the routine. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time on the Day in the Farm as my solar panels earn me money. But until then, have a good one.